Hello, 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 and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk about tech topics. And today we're gonna do a short video about some things that were running around in my head about employee equity. So as you may know, tech stocks in the stock market have been on a tear recently. Maybe not the past two weeks, but before that certainly they were reaching all time highs almost daily. And as you guys may know, I currently work at a private company, which means that our stock is not public. And that means I can't currently sell my stock because we haven't had a liquidation event yet. And that just means that our stock has value on paper only. So I was talking to a friend and bemoaning to him for lack of a better word, of all the tech stocks that have been increasing so rapidly within the past few months. I was feeling FOMO that a lot of my friends at public companies had seen their equity increase multiple times, whereas our equity was still stagnant. And because it is private, it's not going to increase unless someone invests in it and raises the value of the company. My friend basically told me to not worry about it too much because as he put it, these stocks were public. So if I wanted to get in on these stocks, then I could just use my own money to buy these stocks and then still see the same returns as my friends. And while he is absolutely correct, this brings me to the first point that I want to talk about employee equity. Why is employee equity so valuable? And why is it that the more senior you get, such as a director level or a VP level, then your compensation package becomes heavily more skewered in favor of equity instead of something like base salary. And the reason why equity is so valuable and the reason why I don't really buy into my friend's line of thinking that I could just buy these public stocks if I wanted to and still see the same return is because you are locking in the value of equity way before you ever get it. Let me explain. So for your base salary, you are locking in a number, let's say just 100K, just to simplify numbers down, and you are receiving that amount divided by the number of paychecks per year, and you're getting that every paycheck. But for equity, you are locking the base price today, while you will see the gains of it much later. So for equity, what you're getting today is actually something that you negotiated two years ago, or three years ago, or four years ago. So as most of you guys know, equity usually vests over four years, which means that during your fourth year of your company, you are receiving equity at a price that was guaranteed four years ago. That means that you have had four years for that value to increase, and even though you weren't getting that stock before, you are locking in the price when you sign, and so now you have been able to accumulate all of those gains. So this is a difference between working at a company and getting equity and what my friend was saying where I could just use my own cash money and buy into this company. In my friend's example, I am taking actual cash that I have today and I'm using it to invest in this company and in four years if it grows then that's great and I make money but I am having to give up something today. For employee equity, they don't give up anything just a promise that they will still be an employee in four years but they still are able to see all of that gain over the four years. So if I was working at a public company, instead of taking my money and investing it into that company's stock, I could have taken that money and used it elsewhere and invested somewhere else, like real estate or something, and instead my equity would have just been growing four years all this time. And that is really why equity is so powerful, because you do not have to give up anything today, but you still see all of the gains that you would otherwise. So let's do an example just to be perfectly clear. Let's say I sign with Amazon today. I am locking in my equity, I'm signing my offer for 10 shares that will vest in four years, but I'm locking the price today. I'm getting 10 shares at today's price of $3,000. And I don't have to put in any of my own money to get this price. In four years, let's say the stock has risen to $4,000, then I will have made $1,000 per share, so that's $10,000 total. The only cost was the promise that I would keep working at Amazon for four years. But if I didn't work at Amazon today and I wanted to invest in Amazon stock, then I would have to spend $30,000 to get that same 10 shares and in four years see that same $10,000 return. I just wanted to quickly clear that up about equity. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you guys did think it was helpful, then please like and subscribe and comment down below what you guys think and whether or not you guys value equity more than base salary or whatever. Let me know in the comments down below. Follow me on social media and I will see you guys next week.